Hello everyone. Recently I did a recording to list a bunch of different games that I'm keeping an eye on. One of the games in that list that was mentioned uh, was Galahad. I decided to do a recording specific to Galahad to kind of try to go over why I have my eye on it. In its current state, it's it needs a lot of work, but I think that it has a lot of potential. So I'm just going to do my best to kind of guide you through everything and um, explain why. So let me start with why Galahad. Galahad is more of a simplified game than uh, some of the other games that I could mention. If you were to compare it to, say, Mech Warrior or the others, it's definitely simplified in the fact that you don't have to worry about tonnage, uh, weapons going in a specific slot, yada yada. Because when you play Mech Warrior, you know you have rocket slots, you have cannon slots, etc. It's it's a mess to figure things out in Mech Warrior. But in Galahad, you don't have to worry about that. Everything is very simplified in that you have a mod slot for the weapons, you have a, a mod slot for all your different uh, f mech frame slots, so offense, defense, utility, mobility, etc. So all you have to do is just worry about those, and everything else kind of falls into place in terms of gameplay. Um, it's very straightforward in that with the game modes, it's capture the flag or that kind of stuff. So you just have to do some objectives for capturing the flag and it's, and you, uh, you get that objective. So that's all very simplified because of how simplified it is. It makes it easier for people just to get into the game. And I think that it would also encourage, um, different builds. One of the many things that I've been saying over the years is that whenever you make a complicated game like I have mentioned with Path of Exile as an example, um, you tend to have people that just follow other people's builds because they don't want to have to hassle themselves with learning all those mechanics, busting out a calculator, figure out the build, and so on and so forth. A simplified game means more um, build variety within the community. So. That's uh, that's one of the many reasons I, I tend to keep an eye on a simplified game is because I recognize that those are things that come with it being simplified. The game definitely has a lot of potential, but it does have a lot of issues. Now I'll move into uh, explaining what's been on my screen for a little bit, just so you can kind of understand where I think things have gone wrong with Galahad. Of course, they're all pretty easily fixable. But anyways, this is the armory page. So when you go into the armory page, you have four categories of mechs, and then you have a variance for each category. Whenever you select a category or variance, it will tell you what mod slots are available. Let me go ahead and tab over. In this example, I'm looking at the Tsunami variant for the Super Heavy category. You will notice that it's all color-coded with numbers. The numbers and color coding indicate what tier of mod is available for that. So in the case of Tsunami, you will notice that it has a tier 5 um, left and right weapon uh, mod slot available. For uh, offense, it has two tier 5 mod slots. Uh, for defense, is one tier 5 and what is that? Oh, mobility and utility. Yeah, so that's tier 5 utility, mobility, and offense one times, uh, two times tier 5 offensive mod slots. And then, of course, its mods, uh, its weapons have uh, tier 5 mod slots available. And that's all you have to know with Galad is just looking at the different variants and basically playing a game of Tetris to work out the build that you want. That's all you have to do. It's very simplified. But unfortunately... The game in its current state is not very well balanced, and um, I'll go ahead and get into that now that I've kind of given you the crash course in the armory. Okay, I just wanted to head back to that. Okay, so um, there's a lot of issues that present itself um, with the game related to the armory and other parts of the game. One of the main issues that I have with it is... Now, there's no difference in looks. That means that if you were to check your armory page, um, in my case, I have a 
I guess it's white and red painted, super heavy. This is what all mechs look like in each category. They have one model for each uh, category, which means that if I were to change from Shell Drake to Tsunami, the mech's not going to look any different. It's going to have the same boxy look regardless of what I do. To me, that's an issue for not just cosmetic reasons, but also for gameplay reasons. If a Tsunami looks the exact same as a Shell Drake, then it's going to be difficult for me to know what kind of an opponent I'm up against. If it was, let's just say, for example, a Citadel, which a Citadel is four Tier 5 offensive mod slots, then I would, generally speaking, try to avoid it because, um, you know, that's a lot of damage coming through when it has, you know, four Tier 5 mod slots in the offensive slot. So, you know, I would definitely try to avoid that if that were the case, but because there's no visual cue for me to know which variant I'm up against, or for that matter, the variant's not listed in the uh, scoreboard, then generally speaking, I'm not going to know what I'm up against. So that's the first issue that presents itself. Second issue that presents itself um, is going to be in the fact that there's not really a clear difference between uh, the different categories, and also uh, it's not exactly an intuitive category selection. So coming back to the armor for just a second, one thing that you probably won't notice right away when you first play is that the Super Heavy is the only one with four weapons equipped. It may not seem like that because you'll notice it just has two slots for weapons, but um, the Super Heavy does indeed have four um, weapons of your selection, so you just have to times the slots by two, essentially, and that's not exactly intuitive. The other thing that's not intuitive is that the Super Heavy has more offensive slots than the other categories, but the Heavy um, category has more defensive slots than the other category. It doesn't make sense to me that something lighter than a Super Heavy would have more defensive mod slots than the heaviest mech in the game. So, you know, whatever, I guess. Um, mods aren't the only thing that need more of a gap in terms of uh, the numbers and things. If you'll notice with my Sheldrake build here, it's a 13 meter a second um, walking speed. My fully modded medium is 16 meters a second and my light is 20 meters a second. So that means it's only three off from being as fast as a medium in terms of movement speed and it's only uh, seven off from being as fast as a light. There needs to be much more of a difference in uh, the different numbers, not just the movement speed, but also the mod slots and other things. I do think that a Super Heavy should have access to all of the offensive and defensive slots. And I think to kind of bridge the gap, or at least provide a different um, gameplay, I would suggest that the actual Heavy has three weapons instead of four. So it has one less weapon than the... Um, super heavy, but it trades that for um, having all those defensive slots and things. I think that would be a fair compromise to make things a little bit more intuitive in terms of the different categories. Um, but yeah, so those are just kind of the issues there. Either way. Um, yeah, so I guess to summarize this, um, there are going to be a lot of issues, and those are just two examples. To be fair, it is a beta, and like I said, I do think this game has potential. I think that this could potentially be a competitive game. I'm not sure if it would go all the way to esports, but with the way things are, I would say it's definitely got potential for being a competitive game, assuming they can get things in gear. The reason I think that is something that was said in a review of this game on another YouTube channel. They said that it's pretty much like playing Valorant but with mechs. That was their exact wording, and I have to agree with that. I think that people who are familiar with um, you know, Valorant or Overwatch or games like that, I think they would be pretty uh, I think it would be pretty easy for them to transition into Galahad and then for them to carry on that competitive edge. I think that's entirely possible. Given how many um, options there are with modding the mechs in terms of like making them a repair mech or things like that so like um, a team healer thing 
you know, there are a ton of possibilities in what you can and can't do um, with Galahad. And I think that that would pre present some interesting variety to uh, the competitive scene. So I do think that there is a lot of potential here for those reasons and many more. They just need to get things cleaned up. But other than that, that's all I have to say. Thanks for listening.